Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Masal Pushi, and you know what time it is. It's Raksha Bandhan time, and it's around the corner. So I thought of creating a look which is very, very beginner friendly. Everybody can do this look, which is very, very simple. You can see how gorgeous it looks. It looks a quite complex, but if you watch this video, you're gonna know how simple it is and very, very easy. And you can recreate this with the products that you have at your home. And you don't need a lot of products for it. I have just used four to five products and managed to pull off this very gorgeous look. So if you want to know more about this, please continue watching the video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos, challenges, and a lot more knowledge. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna mention my Instagram handle right on the top. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna start by prepping my face, and for that I'm using this sugar illuminating moisturizer. It's a moisturizer with some sheen in it, so it will give a very nice glow to our face. And also, I'm not gonna use any heavy foundation today. This will make our base look very shiny, very glowy, and very hydrating. So today I'm not gonna apply a lot of foundation. I'm just gonna spot correct my face and just get rid of all the imperfections. And I'm gonna make it look even toned. For that, I'm gonna use my sugar foundation stick. And with the help of my finger, I'm just gonna apply on the areas that are pigmented. I'm gonna let this sit for a few seconds before blending it out. Now I'm gonna take a sponge and blend everything out. And that is it for the base. You can see my face is looking even toned, but there is not a lot of coverage. So I'm gonna move towards my blush now. And for my blush, I'm not gonna use any lip and cheek tint. Rather, I'm gonna go in with a lipstick. So you can go with any lipstick matching to your outfit. I am taking this peach color lipstick and I'm not gonna apply it directly on my face because it's a matte lipstick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand. With the help of my finger, I'm gonna blend it out. And whatever is on my finger, I'm just gonna place it. And quickly blend it out. You can also pick some on the sponge and apply directly. You can see this provided some dimension. Both sides of my face is looking quite different and it has made a really good change. So I'm gonna quickly do the same thing on the other side of my face. Now moving towards setting my face, I'm using my good old favorite sugar pop compact. It's very affordable. Yet I'm going to use it using my sponge only, so you can see if you follow me and watch my videos, you'll get to know a lot of tips and tricks. So it's for your own benefit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take some on my sponge and just going to apply firstly under my eyes. Because we have used a very lightweight foundation and don't have a lot of coverage on our face, so I'm just going to apply some compact to give further coverage to our face. You can see it has already made it very matte and also very seamless and flawless. I'm going to apply on the high points of my face first. These are the areas that get very sweaty and oily. Now I'm also going to apply some on my forehead because you have applied some foundation here. So you need to just set it. You can see I have a little bit of scarring here. So you can also go and apply on the areas where you have some flaws. But there's never a bad time to show them off. So for now, I'm just going to leave my base like this. You can go in with some contouring. I'll just see in the end if you want to do some. But this is really nice for a good everyday makeup as well. So for the Rakhi, we don't want a lot of makeup on our face. But we need to look presentable. So this is what I'm going with right now. I'm going to move towards my eyes now. So firstly, I'm going to fill my brows. I'm going to go in very light-handedly and just going to apply that product wherever I have bald spots. And I need some coverage. Now for my eyes, I'm just going to go in with three products. One is a kajal, a mascara and a brown neutral eyeshadow palette. Firstly, I'm taking a kajal and I'm just going to apply it like we normally do. Nothing fancy. You can go in as per your liking. If you want to go very heavy handed or very light handed, it's upon you. I'm going to apply a good layer of see my eyes are already looking really awakened you can stop it here 
But if you want to look a lot smokier, so you can just go with my next step. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my eyeshadow palette. I'm taking a very flat brush and I'm going to pick this dark chocolatey brown shade on just the tip of the brush, dusting off the excess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smoke out my kajal and we don't want to go further from this part. So just place the area where you have the product and start blending it out. You can see the difference. Now, you can also stop right here, but if you want to do a lot more, you can just follow the next step as well. So, I'm gonna take the same brown eyeshadow and just gonna smoke my upper lash line. So, what it will do is it will just intensify a little. So that's our eye look dark. You can see it looks so beautiful and yet it looks very Indian and I just love my Indian looks. So now we're going to move towards our mascara. I'm taking my sugar mascara and I'm going to apply a very very good layer of it. Now our eye look is fully completed. Now I'm going to go in by highlighting my face and my eyes. For that I'm using my sugar palette and the highlighter is almost over. I'm taking some on the flat brush dusting off the excess. Firstly, I'm going to apply on the tear duct. Some on our brow bone. If you want to add some, you can also apply a little bit on your eyelid. With the same brush, I'm applying it on my nose tip, on the bridge of my nose, my chin. And with the hip of finger, I'm applying on my cheek. I'm feeling like going for a contour a little bit on my cheek. So I'm not going to use any fancy product. I'm just going to use the eyeshadow palette we used earlier. So just pick this color. Dust the excess. Now with the sponge, I'm just going to blend my face. What it will do is, it will get absorb all the excess product we have on our face, especially the powders, and it will melt everything really well. Now for my lip makeup, I'm going to play very safe and go with my OG lip combo, which is a brown lipstick with some pink gloss. So with a small lip liner brush, I'm just picking the product. And now I'm going to lip line my lips with this. You can see my lips look very mad, but I want to make it look a little softer. But I'm gonna go with my favorite sugar gloss, and I'm just gonna apply on the center of my lip first. I'm gonna take it further, and that's it. That's our final mix. And with that, we come to an end and that was all for the video and I hope you liked the video. And if you do so, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends and family and let me know what you want to see next in the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, I'm going to mention my Instagram handle right on the top. So just go follow me and I'll see you next time. Bye.